Now with the trading week getting ready to start, of course, we're already seeing people saying that this is going to be the week for AMC stock. Be prepared for the upcoming week because the squeeze is at, we've seen it before, right? We understand it. But one thing does remain true. Every single person wants to get out at the top everybody wants to time the peak we all want to make as much money as possible when it comes to the amc stock short squeeze so let's talk about that because i'm gonna be honest with everybody it's going to be nearly impossible to time the peak perfectly but there are a few things that we can look for in order to determine whether or not this could be the peak is this momentum shifting could we be coming for a downturn now so let's talk about all of these things so that hopefully you know if they come to play every single one of us can make as much money as possible during the amc stock short squeeze so if this sounds like something you're interested in let's get started What's up everybody, I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. All right, there's three things. Now, before we jump into those three things, let's talk about a couple of assumptions that we have to make, all right? AMC stock is ripping at this point. AMC stock is just driving higher to numbers that are unseen and unheard of. Whatever those might be for you, right? The life-changing numbers that we all talk about. Now we know if I come on here and I conservatively say something like six, seven hundred dollars, people are gonna be like, well that's way too low. If I go on here and say six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars, that's way too, okay, we get that. But we know that AMC is ripping and we know that the shorts are covering. That's where we get to this short squeeze taking place. It's not because of buying demand that's coming from FOMO buyers. It's not because of strictly a retail trader, like technical analysis breakout. It's not because of a gamma squeeze. It's because the shorts are covering. So we've set the scene. We know that AMC is reaching these absurd highs. We know that the shorts are covering. Now, how do we time the peak? So like I said before, it's going to be impossible to time the peak perfectly, but we can look at things that are shifting in momentum in order to understand that this could be, this could be the top. Emphasis on the could be the top, because like I say, guys, nobody knows the future. Nobody knows what tomorrow holds. And especially when it comes to something as volatile as the AMC stock short squeeze, nobody knows the exact high that it's going to reach. Now, this first one might seem obvious, so we're not going to spend a ton of time on it, but the price is going to start to lose momentum. Okay, the volatility may be intact, but it's think about it like a roller coaster ride. As you get to the top of the hill, you don't go to the top of the hill with the same amount of speed that you have at the bottom as you're rising. So momentum may slow. Now, it's not going to be an exact science. We're not going to be able to see, okay, we were hitting 100, 200, 300 percent days, and now we're hitting 50 percent, 20 percent, 10 percent, 5 percent days. It's not going to be like it's just so mathematically perfect that we can see momentum's dissipating and now we're starting to see you know like I say we're rising 200% 100% 50% 20% 5% 0%. we have a flat a doji a beautiful doji at the peak for everybody to know that we could see a turnaround and then we've got a 5% dip a 10% 20% 50 and so on it's not going to be perfect but momentum will slow or should slow, I should say, because when you start to say will, like that's that's theoretically, uh, you know, what would be expected. So we should just say would or should, should, not would. My goodness. Momentum should slow as we reach the peak of the squeeze. Now, the next thing, and that's price momentum. The next thing you want to look for is volume. OK, volume is drastically going to be lower as we reach the peak of the squeeze. And that's for a couple of reasons. Retail traders are no longer going to be buying AMC stock. Institutional investors are no longer going to be buying AMC stock. FOMO buyers are no longer going to be buying AMC stock at the peak. Why is that? Now, I guess if the peak was relatively low, if if 
if shorts were covering and for some reason everybody decided to sell as we got to $100 or $200, you know, I wouldn't really consider that a mother of all short squeezes. I wouldn't consider that the MOAS, right? But as we, they're, they're going to be priced out of it. There's, there's no better way to say that. Retail traders, FOMO buyers, institutional buyers, they're going to be priced out of it. And the only, the only buying pressure that should be coming on during the peak because the prices are so high are the shorts that are covering. And that's simply because the shorts are required to cover, yeah, they're required to cover their short shares no matter what the price is. So beyond a point of, I don't want to buy AMC anymore at $10,000 per share, but the shorts are re they're required to buy AMC at $10,000 per share. That's the difference. You lose all other buying pressure other than the shorts covering. Now, we know that the shorts are covering, so the, sh the short interest is going down, all of that stuff. Volume is dropping at this point. The price is losing momentum. Here's another one that may be kind of counterintuitive, okay? Once we start to reach the peak of the short squeeze, we also may see and should probably see the short interest increasing again. Why is that? Because the shorts that have already covered, the ones that have covered on the way up, when they see all of these signs and they start to see that AMC could be coming for another downturn, they're likely to short the stock again. Why? Because they expect that it will never reach these highs and that after this mother of all short squeezes takes place with AMC, it will drop. And they will try to make money as it drops. It is as simple as that, guys. They, they cannot resist the temptation to short AMC stock when it's cheap. Clearly, they're not going to be able to resist the temptation when AMC is trading at 1000 5000 Whatever the price reaches, they're not going to be able to resist that temptation to go out there and short it even heavier. So those three things, once again, we could see the price momentum begin to slow down. We could see volume begin to drop. And we could also begin to see the short interest rise again. Now, of course, if it does rise to the same levels that we're at right now, this could set us up with another opportunity to go ahead and, and trigger another short squeeze or go out there and trade another short squeeze. But only time will tell if we get to that point. But these are the three things that I would be looking for and would hope to see during the peak of the mother of all short squeezes when it comes to AMC. Now, I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. If you think these three things could be seen, if you maybe like two of them, don't like another one, let us know down there. If you guys are still holding, inspire the rest of us to continue holding AMC stock because we've been here for so long now. We need to see the short squeeze. And I just, I want to take advantage of it to the fullest and make as much money as possible. And I hope that all of you guys do as well. Now, this button is still red. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single single day and we are growing our portfolios together. If you're brand new to trading, use the link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up an account and you're going to get a couple free stocks just for doing so. You can sell those stocks, keep those stocks, whatever you want to do, they're your stocks. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, of course, guys, until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.